Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I have kind of a different video for you guys which I'm really excited to do. This is going to be a leftovers plan with me along with a Q&A. So on Instagram I was tagged by Mia from Planner Addict, that's her Instagram name and I will leave it down below, um, but she tagged me to participate in this Q&A challenge um, where I answer some different questions about planning and um, that's what I'm going to be doing while I create this spread. And it's been a long time since I've done a Q&A so I'm really looking forward to this. Thank you so much for the tag, Mia. And um, for the leftovers portion of the plan with me, I'm going to be working with leftover stickers today. So here I have my leftover kits from, um, this one is from Chic Blossom Prints, and also I have one from Sadie Stickers. These were used uh, probably like a month ago, back when it was like summertime, and um, they are both in a silver foil. I thought they kind of are similar enough where I could pull them in together. They have some kind of neutral, like light pinks, light blue shades, um, definitely shades that I felt like could go together. So um, let me just really quickly show you what I have left in these kits. So here was the sheet of full boxes. I have one left. I've got some random pieces of washi strips and um, some headers here. I've got some um, icons that I didn't use, a weekend banner, some check flags. Um, and then for the Sadie stickers kit, I have a ton of these headers left. I've got all the bow checklists, which I'm assuming I'm going to be using a lot of since I have them. Um, these little layering icons, one full box left over. I've got one half box, a three bow checklist, some build do stickers. And then I think on here is just a couple a uh, little like washi strips and a quarter box. So um, yeah, I'm going to just be kind of combining the rest of what I have left from these two kits. As you can see, I have very limited full boxes to work with because I tend to use them a lot in my regular planning. Um, so that's the kits that I'm going to be working with. I also have other leftover stickers that I've collected throughout the years. So here are all of the half boxes and um, full boxes, or I'm sorry, half boxes and quarter boxes that I collect. Um, I typically just put them onto to these little leftover sticker sheets and I group them based on color. So we have all the neutral ones. I'm assuming I'm going to be using these a bit. Um, these lighter blue colored boxes, which I have a lot of, um, yellow, etc. So this is how I store all of my boxes. I've been thinking about switching it up and buying a sticker book, which is like this. I have this sticker book that houses all of my leftover icons um, and also icons that I get from sampler sheets. Um, so I group these based on type of stickers. We've got coffee, um, other types of drinks like alcoholic drinks and then non-alcoholic drinks. Um, here we've got like all the chores, um, things like that. Then we move into movies and TV, laptops, date night, etc. So it's kind of a mess right now because as you can see I've taken stickers from all over it so they're not super nicely organized but this is what I have. So I have been considering purchasing another one of these little books so that I can put all my half boxes in there. That would be easier than having a separate system um, but we'll see. It just takes me a while to get organized and figure out what I want to do so um, anyways that's what I've got for now and I'm going to be using all of these types of uh, leftover stickers to create my spread. And in case you're wondering, this is just a um, cutout week from my recollections planner. I bought an 18 month and I don't need the last six months. So I have a bunch of weeks left over. So as you can see, this is December, 2021. Um, so I'm just going to be using this as my planner and I've already cut it out. So it's just, it's not part of a planner now. It's just uh, pages on its own. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this intro. I'm going to, like I said, be doing the Q and A in the actual planning part and um, if you have any questions about the stickers just let me know I'll try my best to answer these are leftover stickers so more than likely I won't remember where I got it from but there's no harm in asking if you are interested um, so yeah let's go ahead and jump right in I'm so excited to do this I hope you guys are looking forward to it as well and let's go ahead and jump right in Let's go ahead and dive right into these Q&A questions. I just took a look at them and they seem so interesting. The first half of the questions are planner related and then the second half are a bit more personal. So um, this is definitely like a get to know me tag, which is super fun. I've seen some other planner girls doing this as well and I'm pretty sure this is just an open tag. So if you feel inspired by this or if you've been wanting to do this tag, please, please go ahead. I think this is a great way to get to know people better in the planner community. 
Okay, so the first question is name, age, and how long you've been planning. My name is Sherry, and I am currently 31 years old. I have been planning since 2016, um, I think around April, so that would be like four years ago now. Um, the second question is when were you introduced to the community? I can't remember exactly when it was. I think it was either Thanksgiving or Christmas in 2015. I remember I was at my boyfriend's parents' house because it was like the holidays, and for some reason, a planner spread picture had popped up on my Instagram Explore page, and I'm pretty sure it was a spread from Mandy Plans, and I was like, what is this? And I just got really interested. I clicked on it um, and then totally went down this rabbit hole. I tried to convince myself for like months that I didn't need this in my life. I didn't need to, you know, go out and buy all these things. Um, but eventually I caved like I'm sure many of you did as well. Um, and then totally got into it, you know, a few months later. The first planner I discovered, which is question number three, um, is the Erin Condren planner. I did use it for um, pretty much four years up until uh, July when I switched over to the recollections just because the Erin Condren company um, was not aligning with my personal views, as I'm sure you guys are aware by now since I've kind of talked about it in a few different videos. Um, so the fourth question, first sticker shop you purchased from, I remember very clearly my first shop was Dizzy Daisy Dream which is why um, I think her shop just holds such a special place in my heart. She is no longer open or I think she like intermittently opens um, because I know the owner, her name is Daisy. She is now in law school, which I'm sure takes up so much time. Um, so I totally understand, but she opens like every once in a while. So when she does open, I always make sure to purchase because I just, you know, always like want to support her shop. Um, my preferred planning style, question number six, is uh, definitely white space vertical planning. I enjoy using kits along with sticker icons um, and I always try to kind of match them in terms of like the colors and the style of the icons. Um, and yeah, I don't know how else to describe it. You guys probably know by now because I'm sure most of you here have um, watched my plan with me's before. Okay, so moving on to question number six, first few planning channels you found. Um, the first channel I ever found was Mandy Plans. Like I mentioned before, I discovered the planner community through her Instagram, so I definitely started like watching her videos. A few other planners that I watched at the beginning were Kiara from In Kiara's Planner Now. She used to be Paper Princess Plans. I remember that so clearly. Um, I used to watch Jasenia from The Planner Sophisticate. I haven't seen her videos in a while. Um, I hope she's doing well. Viv from Viv Loves to Plan, um, and also Jessica from Mrs. Mom Next Door. I don't know if she's making videos anymore either. I feel like I haven't seen her recently either, so I'm not quite sure, but um, some of the ladies are still making videos, and I still love to watch them, um, especially because I feel like I've just followed their journeys for so long, and it's been so fun to, I don't know, kind of like go through life with them, even though, you know, we don't know each other personally, um, but I feel like I do because, you know, I've watched them for such a long time. Okay, moving on to question number seven, trends you've committed to the most. Um, I definitely feel like I have jumped fully into the foil trend. I use a lot of foil in my planning now, um, but there are weeks where I still choose to kind of like plan old school, pre-foil, um, and just kind of take a break, which is always really nice, but I'm always like itching to get back to my foils because I just think they make the spread so pretty. But yeah, I feel like I've just dived headfirst into the foil trend. Uh, question number eight, trends you wish would come back um I actually can't think of anything specifically um maybe glitter headers I used glitter headers for a really long time I haven't used them in a while but I definitely still really like them and I don't think I can think of anything else off the top of my head the next question is, what does your family slash significant other feel about you playing with stickers and planning? Um, my family is very supportive, um, both my parents and my sister. They don't really understand it, but they are just very sweet and supportive. At one point, my mom was like, I'm going to watch your videos every single day so you get views. I'm pretty sure she's never watched any of my videos, but you know, it's the thought that counts. And then my significant other, um, he's very supportive as well. I think he just likes that I have a hobby that I enjoy because he has a ton of hobbies that he likes. Um, and for a while before I discovered planning, I didn't really have anything of my own. So I feel like 
I used to pester him a lot more for like attention and to hang out with me. Um, and now that I have planning, I have so much like time that I can spend doing my own thing. So um, I think he definitely enjoys that aspect of it. The next question is, do your friends slash family watch your planning videos slash follow your account? Um, I actually do have friends that follow my account, which is really sweet. They'll sometimes comment on things and be like, oh, I didn't know you did this or that just because I may not have told them about something, but they found out about it through my planner. Um, but in terms of watching my videos, I don't really think they do. Uh, maybe here and there, but I don't think anyone I know in real life consistently watches my videos. Question number 11, if you could shop from only one sticker shop, which shop would it be? This is probably the hardest question of all time because I cannot just choose one shop. Um, there are shops for different purposes. There are shops for kits, for icons, for foils. It's like impossible to just choose one. So I'm so sorry, but I absolutely cannot answer that question. Um, I'm going to have to pass. <laughs> so moving on to the more personal questions, I actually don't know how long this Q&A is going to go um, if I need to do this part in a separate video. So I might have to like cut this off halfway if it goes way too long, but um, here we go. Let's just try it out. The first question is, did you slash do you go to school? If so, for what? Um, yes, I was in school quite a long time ago. I graduated from my undergrad in 2011. I majored in human development with a minor in psychology, and then I went on to grad school for school psychology. I graduated from that in 2015, and I've been working as a school psychologist ever since. The second question is, if you went to school, what was your favorite class? Um, that's actually a really hard question. I feel like it's been so long since I was in school that I can't really remember. Oh, I did take gospel choir when I was in undergrad. That was really fun because we just sang gospel choir the whole time. And um, it was super easy. You basically got an A just for showing up and you were able to take it and get credit for it three times. So I did take it three different semesters and it was fabulous. So that was probably one of my favorite classes that I can remember. Question number three is favorite food. Um, I think I'm going to say noodles because I feel like that's really broad and that can include so many different types of noodles um, in that category. So I'm going to go with that. The other food that I love are tacos because again, it's like pretty broad. You could put anything in a taco and it's delicious. Um, so yeah, noodles and tacos are like my favorite things ever. And then the next question is favorite drink. I don't know if this is alcoholic or non-alcoholic, but I will give one for each because they're equally important in my heart. Um, my favorite alcoholic drink is beer. I like a good crisp IPA. That's my favorite. And then uh, my favorite non-alcoholic drink is boba, of course. Um, as you guys probably know, if you watch my videos, I tend to get that quite a bit. Um, the next question, question number five, favorite coffee drink. I always get the iced caramel macchiato at Starbucks, and I like that with the light caramel so it's not too sweet. And then during the fall time, my favorite drink is the pumpkin cream cold brew, which I've been getting a lot lately because they actually have it. I remember it not being around for very long, so if you guys want to try it or if you want to have it, now is the time to do so. Question number six is favorite color, definitely pink. It's been pink my whole life, as far back as I can remember. Um, yeah. Then question number seven is favorite sticker paper. I actually like matte paper um, because it's definitely the most removable. I move stickers around all the time. I'm so indecisive. Um, you guys don't even see half of it because I have to edit it out or else it takes so long. Um, so because I move stickers around all the time, I really like uh, my matte removable stickers because they just really help with that. Question number eight is an event that helped build you. And this one is really hard because I truly believe that every experience you encounter in life, um, from the people that you meet to the choices you make, just the things that happen to you, all of that shapes you into who you are. It's kind of hard for me to find um, just one defining moment that built me. I feel like all of the moments have, you know, created the person I am today. Probably the bigger events in my life, um, like immigrating to the U.S. If my family never came here, my life would be so different. Um, you know, choosing grad school or graduating from grad school because that has led to my career, which, you know, is something I'm really proud of and I really enjoy. So that's, you know, definitely another big thing that helped shape me. Um, so yeah, I feel like that's a really hard question for me to narrow down, but I'm just gonna kind of leave it at that. 
Um, so with that, that ends the q and I'm pretty sure this video has gone way too long. So if needed, I will break this up into two videos and I will just somehow like cut and paste the second half of the q and into the next video. I'll figure it out as I go through the footage and try to see how I can work this out. And yeah, that is it. So thank you guys so, so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A and I hope you enjoyed getting to know me better. I know I haven't done a lot of Q&As in the past, so um, let me know what you think if you have more questions for me. I have a couple other questions that I got from a previous video that I did, I think a couple weeks ago when I was asking you guys to send me questions. So I didn't get a chance to go through those, which means I'll probably be uploading another Q&A at some point. So if you have additional questions that you would like to know about me, um, please please feel free to leave them down below and I will hopefully be able to do another video. If you guys have any questions about the stickers that I used, please let me know and I will definitely try my best to remember where they're from. And um, thank you so much again for watching. I truly appreciate all your support no matter um, how long you've been with me and you know how often you watch my videos, whatever it is. I'm just glad you're here today and I hope you're doing well wherever you are. And with that, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.